Welcome to Barry Beland Trust's Youth Activity for our Virtual Environmental Summit. For this project, you will need a piece of paper, crayons, wax blocks or colored pencils, leaves or twigs that you find around your house. This one's an incense cedar. We have some gray pine, Douglas fir, and lodgepole pine. The flatter your leaves or needles, the better because they will rub onto the paper easier. So to get started, I'm just going to place a piece of white paper over the first leaf that I want to draw. And again, make sure that the leaf is really flat and white paper works the best because you'll be able to really see the design. So I'm just going to come over here and grab colored pencil. I'm going to start off with this dark green color. And what you're going to want to do is just rub pretty hard and that design will start to appear. So the harder you press, the more you'll be able to see this design show up. And you can even follow the design with your hand to make sure you're really getting all the stems and little branches that come off of it to get a really nice line drawing. And it's as easy as that. Now I'm going to switch out my leaves to get a different shape. So I'm going to select this gray pine. You know it's a gray pine because it has these three long grayish bluish needles. So again, I'm just going to place that where I want underneath the paper. And make sure for the needles, they're kind of spread out so you get a really nice effect. And then I'm just going to place my paper over it. You can't really tell in the video, but you can actually see a shadow of where the needles are. So this time I'm going to go in with a nice dark blue color. And then I'm just going to do the same thing as before. Now, pine needles are really easy because once you get that needle shape, you can just draw it all the way down. And again, you can kind of go over it to get whatever effect you want. And that one's done. So you can continue on with this project adding whatever kinds of needles you want. This one's a Douglas fir. I'll just place that one at the bottom corner here. And so this one's not as flat, so you'll see it's going to be a little more challenging. I'm going to use this light green color this time. But once you find the center stem, it's fairly easy to follow the rest of the needles. And that one is done. Again, for these line drawings, you can use whatever twigs and branches you want that you find outside. You can use whatever art medium you like. Again, these crayon blocks work really well. You could use colored pencils, crayons, or even try using pastels. Anything that will give a really nice line so the harder the material, the better that this will work. And when you're done with your picture, be sure to 
take a picture and upload it to Facebook or Instagram and tag Bear Yuba Land Trust in it so we can see all of your beautiful creations and give you a shout out. And you can finish up these pictures however you would like. This is another one that I did with different colors and leaf shapes and I, I labeled it. So really get creative with this. We are going to enjoy seeing what you come up with and thanks for participating in the Environmental Summit.